Well, good morning and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yuri Folani. Well, let's continue our conversation on all things Nigeria. I, I, I guess we're, we're going to return again to the whole matter of um, uh, federalism. Um, if there ever was an agitation, there is one for that, federalism. But you see, it's been brought again into focus by, you know, presidential spokesman uh, Garbache, who, uh, who in a television program uh, on Independence Day uh, had, you know, commented on the 2014 a uh, conference uh, organized by the previous administration, uh, that is uh, President Jonathan administration. And, um, well, he said quite categorically that um, uh, the federal government is not about to use that particular report. It's not about to implement it. And as you know, it did cost us a pretty penny, you know, but maybe go away from the mundane things and look at the substance of it. Uh, those who attended said beyond that, um, you know, far-reaching decisions, you know, resolutions were made. And that, um, I, quite frankly, if the presidency thinks that it's not going to be looking at it, uh, then it, it might well have a rethink because there is much value. Uh, so many reasons cited, quite a number of them cited. One, it wasn't all inclusive, and, uh, but we'll unfold that as we go along. My guest this morning is Dr. Dan Ekere, and uh, Dr. Ekere lectures at the University of Lagos. Thank you very much, Doctor, for coming on the program. Thank you for having me. Indeed. Um, really, um, what, uh, quite a number of people that have spoken on, on, on the sort of uh, hint uh, of the disposition of the Buhari administration to the 2014 confab um, ha have said that, look, you got to look at it and um, even uh, what, uh, uh, noting without conceding that you even have a point, how about federalism? That is the real issue at the end of the day, uh, federalism. First of all, give me your thoughts on the whole matter of it coming up now by a presidential spokesperson. Uh, that um, the government is not really that much in a hurry to look at the 2014 Confab report. Yeah, thank you, Yuri. I, I, I think that uh, at the very you know beginning of this uh, administration, these issues resonated, and uh, I, I, I think that uh, one of the decisions of the UPC then was that they were going to you know commit the reports of the conference to the West Bank. You know that was their position. And, and now the issue is coming up again. And, and I remember that those who were part of the conference mobilized themselves, you know, and they began to fine tune measures to see to it that the reports were implemented. Now, but the critical factor is that, you know, we've always had this issue of, uh, okay, how was the, you know, the conference constituted? Mm -hmm. Was there an enabling law? How did they, were the delegates selected? Yeah. Or how were they appointed? Whichever manner they emerged, mm -hmm. and all of that. And uh, well, it is not all inclusive. It is not this. It is not that. The gov there were no governors present. Now, the first question we should ask ourselves: How did we come about the 1999 Constitution? That is a point that indeed so has if we been can advanced. Implement, if we can carry out by those who are countering this argument, it doesn't make sense. Because you are already using a document that somebody, you know, Made organized about, and, about and, 50 year and, old people. and donated to us. You are using it to run the whole country. Now, people were brought from all walks of life, from all, you know, bodies, mm -hmm. and they, 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 they looked with rigor into, you know, the nature, the composition, and everything that has to do with the functionality of the country called Nigeria. And you are saying there was no enabling law. Which law enabled the 1999 Constitution? But we're implementing it. And in any case, talking about laws that are enabling and disenabling, it is the people who make laws. Laws don't make people. Indeed. So we are the same people. Even the National Assembly, we are elected by people. So the yeah, same people but, but who no. gave you mandate to be there and all of that are okay. saying that, OK, let's even leave the issue of how elected. What about the content? What stops you from looking at the content? And without necessarily bringing the thing wholesale into mm -hmm. you know, uh, the, the focus, look at those issues that are critical. I, I wonder if the attitude of the presidency is not that, look, uh, perhaps in their opinion, the, how it was convened was, it didn't have, the, it didn't have law backing it, uh, as you've just said. 
they were they were selected one way or the other. Um, people not well that the expression is that it wasn't inclusive, meaning that certain people were not there, or perhaps uh, it wasn't the public uh, that that put them in there. Well, be 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 that as it is, <laughs> there, there still is the question of uh, all this. Sub, the, the, they have said now go to the national assembly. Whoever thinks that you know, stuff in that document is valuable. Go to the National Assembly, which is a legally constituted, we elected the National Assembly. You might not be happy with them anymore, but yes. we elected them. Indeed, um, indeed. Go put all this stuff before them and let them handle it. Now, that's, that's an interesting kind of a message because we know that nobody's going to get joy out of this current National Assembly in terms of uh, leading us towards federalism. Yes, yeah, very correct. And you see, we need to be a bit, you know, more concerned about the future of this country and try to look at so many of these you know bottlenecks that we want to you know bring to bear on the issue of how we govern ourselves now the national assembly itself is made up of people who were elected mm -hmm. who ordinarily should be closer to the people than even the executive arm because these people were elected from different you know parts of the country to represent you know all shades but the question is, how representative are they? In the National Assembly? Yes, in National Assembly, the members, how, how representative are they? Uh, Do uh, they carry the... of what? The people that who elected uh, them, uh, those uh, who uh, elected them. Well, okay. How, how much of the views of those people do they actually bring to bear? How mm. much of it? Well, now, well, when you now take this kind of position, they were the mm -hmm. same ones who were actually raising issues about the constitutionality and all the rest. That's right. Now That's you right. want to take the same issue to them, mm -hmm. that this is our position. Because okay. they were saying that forever constituting a body of a kind, you are trying to take away, you know, the Some job their, from their table. Yes, yes, yes. So now you take it to them and say, this is what we want. Now, the question is, the one who is representing, representing you, is he like a messenger? Because these are people you ordinarily call servants. But these are superior servants, <laughs> superior to those who they, who they are serving. Well, they're not public servants. They are well, not. Well, well, they should be. Just call, they, 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 they should, should be. be yeah, because they're in public service. They should be. But, but these are superior servants. A servant who will be dictating to the boss, who will be dictating to whoever has sent him that this is how I want it done. But, but this, know, that's the kind of uh, yes. servant. So we must look at it from that angle. When you say take all the issues to the National Assembly, it means that you don't want some of these issues to see the light of day. But... Perhaps you will agree that back then too, even though some governors sent representatives, the, the body language was that, look, this, this whole thing is not right. This whole thing has a certain kind of a smell. Uh, nevertheless, let one not be seen as something of a no, non-quality no, yes. you know. Okay, just for the heck of it, uh, I sent some people there. Yes. Uh, there was that sort of Certainly, lethargy. Yeah, yeah it, you know. it, it happened in some instances. Yes, you know, in some instances. Have, yes, okay, let's just comply so that mm. it doesn't look as, as if we are not part of it, we mm -hmm. don't want to associate, we don't want to this. Yes, some people, but even at that, those that they sent, we are still people who could, you know, discuss issues. In the, in, and they did, in, and they did yes, do so. Yes, and they, and they actually did. Now, they but let's even, leave, let's even leave the question of the composition and all the rest. Now, some of us, and I, I believe that Ibu Garbashio and his men too, they have equally read books they never wrote. The, were they elected people before those books were written? Mm -hmm. But they read them and they believe in them. And some of them are applying some of the knowledge they gained from those books. So what is the now, problem with that? There Nigeria? are reports mm -hmm. from the 2040 Confab. There are positions. What stops you from going through them and see what you can apply to make this country better? Than this, you know, this wholesale this idea of dismissal. Uh, we, we, we can't do anything. We are not going there. We'll do this. We'll do that. Is it, are we are we moving forward the way we are? Well, uh, again, well, the this this probably was in the nature of testing the waters, perhaps uh, for whatever reason, uh, well, at this point in time that um, this had come out again. Because as you said at the very very beginning, the Buhari administration had sort of indicated its disposition that yes. look. It had things to do, and um, that wasn't high up on its uh, priority uh, level. But, um, uh, okay, uh, Candy has called in from Adamawa. Good morning, Candy. Good morning, Uncle Yori. Thank and you. Good morning, the prop there. Good Thank you very much you. for calling in. Thank you so much. Uh, at least I want to say something here. 
I, if I may, I, I don't know either I'm right or wrong, but was it not this same APC that was screaming blue mother that there should be restructuring in this country, there should be one thing or the other? Now that they are there, why are they finding it very difficult to do? That's one. Secondly, like the gentleman there said, we are using a constitution that was imposed on us by the military. Was it of the 20 people that drafted that constitution that we are having, we are using today? Thirdly, I want to say that these same uh, elected people at the uh, National Assembly, they are just like the people that were sent to uh, to this, uh, con uh, what is it, the confab. And we wasted a lot of money in that place. So if Garbashe was telling us that this money should just go like that, it should just be wasted, Mm -hmm. I am sure that these people that we said, the person representing us in Numa, the people representing us from Numa, we know them very well. They are learned people, they are well respected people. So, what are they telling us that the people that all those 470 people are useless people, they cannot decide for us, but less than 20 people can decide for us and we use their constitution? I think that is very wrong. Okay. FTC is playing games with us in Nigeria and that should stop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Candy, for calling in. Uh, well, interesting point. And the right point she makes also that the APC does have it in its uh, documents in there as a principal pillar that it's, it's in their books that we will bring about true federalism. Yes. Right? Yes. Uh, and that's what everybody wants. Uh, even recently, uh, Ashwai Jibola met Tinumbu. He, he actually uh, put, just sort of reminded us all about that by uh, saying that, look, one of the main ways out of the quagmire we find ourselves in is if we get hold of fiscal federalism. Um, so that is the way to go, really. You see, now, but the, the distinction between, you know, running a federal system and running a regional system, you know, don't forget that I, I think it was Afeni Ferry or so, you know, that rose from a meeting with the position that we should go back to you know, regional. the regions, mm. the regional government mm. and other mm. rest. I, I, I think, yes, it's still in line with the issue of true federalism. I think that's where they were actually driving at. But perhaps they now wanted it to run the way it was in the days of regionalism, so that we now run, you know, the government of regions. Now, okay. well, I th think that we is can... That is ferry. Yes. Okay. Yeah, now, I, but uh, Ashwaju's case was a bit different from that, because his own was that, he wasn't talking about region, but he was talking about running the country like a true federal state. Mm -hmm. Now, you, the, the 36 states could as well operate as, you know, entities that are federated, such that each state will manage, you know, its resources. Now, I, as I was coming, between University of Lagos and Yabatek, mm -hmm. the, the road is so terrible. So terrible, and that is a federal road. I, I, don't, I don't know how many of them are aware of the situation oh, of the obviously. road here. And this is now, one of the problems. Now, should there be, that is just a street. Yes. Should there be such issues like the federal road that somebody will not be waiting for a Buhari to send mm -hmm. people, whatever, before mm -hmm. they fix. Mm -hmm. There you are see, clear the, problems honestly, with, with, see, with, with So with when it. you run a system in this unitarized manner, you continue to have such challenges. And at the end of the day, Lagosians will be thinking, that, oh, our governor is not doing this, our mm. governor is not. Mm. Meanwhile, that road ordinarily falls squarely within the jurisdiction exactly. of the federal government. And so you have but a situation I think that governors. era by now should have been over. Or at the situation least should have been seen to be beginning to address it. Okay, let's begin to, yeah, let, we let, need let to look at Sam Olisa, who's really called in from um, um, Ikorodu. Good morning, Sam. Oh, good morning, uh, Yori, how are you? Thank you for calling in. Yeah, and I greet your guest. Thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, on the major issue that the federal government won't use 2014 compound report, uh, I think we should be cautious. Like our guest in that place, he raised the question that the constitution we are using now was the who drafted it. Was it not a, a gift for the military? I agree with you, but we cannot find illegality with illegality. The confirm has no legal backing. It was a diversion. We all knew. I don't want Nigerians to be sentimental. The elders say when you fall down, you look at the cause of your fall. A child will look at the front. Presently, Nigerians are too sentimental. Where did you get it wrong? That is the question we should ask. At independence, we're running a federal system in which the regions were autonomously run. Where did you get it wrong? 
So if there's going to be a confab, if there's going to be a new constitution, there should be a legal backing. Okay, we thank you very much, Sam. Appreciate your call. I'm about to go off on a break now. I'm so sorry about that, but you've made your point. Thank you very, very much for calling in. Stay with us, please. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. We're looking at, um, you know, the conversation has sort of erupted again following presidential spokesperson saying that um, the administration of President Buhari uh, was not, as far as he knew, uh, disposed to using the, com the 2014 compact uh, report. Um, those who participated in it have been up in arms, they've been speaking. Um, not everybody has been on the same side. Sam or Lisa, for instance, that we had to hurry away because of um, the commercial break. Uh, thank you very much for calling in, Sam and Lisa. Um, this whole matter about how was it put, how, how was it formed, has been discussed already. Mm -hmm. um, but the <laughs> National <laughs> Assembly that Mr. Yeah. Shehu this, you know, uh, indicates to people, yes. uh, we, al we also know their own disposition to it. Um, but Candy made the point that mm. so much has been spent, so much of our resources have been spent. We had men of knowledge, men, you know, uh, we, we had uh, a wide, uh, such a broad spectrum of people that came together and, you know, had all those recommendations. Um, there are those who are now saying that can't it be used as something of a, if you want, a scrapbook of ideas? Indeed. And then you, you, you take from there. Exactly. And then I don't know what the disposition of the National Assembly will be if you now put these ideas before the National Assembly for consideration. Yeah, wh wh while I want to commend the, the, the first caller, you know, but I, I equally want to say that uh, he's missing the issue. The question of, okay, whether it was a distraction. It could oh, okay, be Okay, that is a yeah, Sam but, yeah, supposedly a distraction becomes the way for you, the way forward for you. Why not take the ideas that came out of the distraction? <laughs> because okay. well, that would be a creative approach. Yes, yeah, because we are looking at the, the recommendations made, not how they got there now. Yeah, and also yes, the fact that Candy now, brought up that look at federalism it. is supposed to be primarily in view for APC. Of course. It's, it was one of their key, you know, uh, uh, issues. One now, moment, please. Before you continue, uh, let me bring in Yakub from Dokwem, who has called in. Good morning, Mr. Yakub. Yeah, <coughs> Jari, good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Uh, thank you very much. And then good morning to uh, the gentleman in the studio. Dr. Ekere, uh, thank you so Jari, much. You see, as far as I'm concerned, even though I'm not totally agree with Jarva uh, Shio, uh, but the truth must be seen here. You see, that 2014 confab, the confab was set up politically. Why am I saying that? The, the, the confab was politically in the sense that after the, after the report came out, I think the former government still in the power then. And then they have the right to send the report to the National Assembly. But they did not do so. Waiting for the return that they believe that they will come back to the power. And then they use that compound uh, compound report and then as a campaign tool then that when we come back we will implement this and that. What stop them? The question is that of the former government. But say that report immediately the report and send it to the National Assembly. And then the National Assembly decide about it. And then we I can tell you he wants to go by this national conference, national conference of 18. We should know how to go about it. I have been for that. Let me give you an example, Chief Jory. The National Assembly is held by uh, Speaker Yakubu Dogara. Where a national, where a, a chief judge of the federal, federal, uh, uh, government, federal government gives a judge, I thought to say, to a member of that city, a uh, fair house, that mm -hmm. they should remove a member and sign another person. And then the guy was not telling us that. Until somebody from that very particular woman constituency that had built you from Facebook come critically to apologize before I can swear a member in. What type of national assembly is that? This is the type of national assembly that will have send the social contract to. I think they will the most of the accepted interest. See, usually the only thing we can go about it until it is. And then we decide how to go. The foundation power, the foundation of power is the answer 
so it is a transport and devolution of power. They are by the road that the Baron Sai Kerry is talking about. Can be done by arm body of this level. The, the road in my street can be done by the arm body of this level. Okay. See, if you don't give position of power, there is no how we can go about it. Thank God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> and it's not, it's not Baron Sai Kerry, it's Dr. <laughs> Dan yeah. Kerry, but we understand uh, what you yeah, mean. Yeah, although uh, the line was. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah, off, yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we could get. We, 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 we you got know, the, 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 you know, yeah. So, so uh, you, you, you were saying, but I had to yeah. interrupt you for now, the now, now, let's look at it this way. We. Yes, those who were part of that confab will be say implement the reports of the confab. Or at least but, consider yeah, it. Yes, but what we are saying is that, you see, it does not matter who, who presents an idea. Once the idea is useful, you use it. All right? Should a criminal brings an idea that can help you, you, would, you won't say because the person that brought the idea is a criminal, and so the idea will not be used. Because some of the, the, the machinery, the instrument, the equipment, you know, the, the technology that some people are using, we are actually born out of crime. For instance, somebody who was hacking into, you know, various sites and the rest, you know, when you look at the computers of that person and you decide to bring that person in order to prevent hacking, you've, you, 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 you look at the positive side of that, <laughs> you know, particular. Yes. Well, well done. Are you this getting is a very interesting now, example that you are Now, what we are saying is that I understand. the reports, hmm. at least there must be something positive in it that well. will help in a way. Mm -hmm. Now, what stops you from, if you don't want to bring the report wholesale, at least lift those things that you know <laughs> are in line with the so-called, you know, your agenda that you prepared before you decide to embark on be some sort of something yeah, some, some sort of a compromise with, yes, between see, stated objectives uh, of the ruling party uh, and and the, you know, what, so what it, has, it will grab uh, everybody and, together and again uh, so, so people true like federalism Chief, is one of the issues I, indeed okay yes. let, me, let me bring in reverend dominic uh, calling in from uh, limosho good morning reverend good morning yori please go ahead good morning that's a hot pack. let me just go ahead sure <laughs> thank you sir <laughs> So, you're, listen to me. The issue of this 2014 confab, if I'm the president of Nigeria today, I will not use it. You know the reason? Sure. Why? I will jump in this nation. This confab said we should create more 20 states. By today, the federal government are pumping 1.2 trillion to pay out state, to pay salary. As I'm talking now, Imo City has not paid, Adam Koki has not paid, many states have not paid salary. And this comfort we are talking about, they we should create more 20 states. Number two, they said they should create more states in Southeast. I'm from Southeast. I vehemently oppose to it. Do we need bureaucracy or do we need development? When we have to govern three states in the Southeast, we have industry, we have everything, we few commissioners. Today we have about three or five states in the Southeast. There's no road to pass. Number three, you're right. The laziness of governors is called not pay. Listen to me. To, to announce or to establish or to talk about the public on this is a stupid list of federal government. But I tell you, we say in June 12, the, the states in the South here will become public on this. They will record to a stupid list. When they come to build the road, they say it's a federal road. Who is cheating who? They will do one thing that will them. When they become things that will the nation or the people, they turn to federal government. Mm. The laziness of government. Mm. What we need is to restructure our mind. I say that we are not with restructure of geographical, the geographical, you know, places of Nigeria. It is the mind. After you restructure, it's still these people that will cover it. And corruption will destroy the structure. Thank okay. You. Thank you very much, Reverend Dominic, for calling in. Well, we get into this complication again. Uh, yeah. uh, restructuring, what does it mean? Some yes. people say that, look, I'm for restructuring so far as it is not misunderstood and it means restructure our mind, restructure our concept of, of the way we do things. Some people say it goes way beyond that. Chief Ayo, uh, Ayo uh, Adibanjo, for instance, who was part of that conference, um, you know, elder statesman, uh, he, he, he has even you know, echoed uh, Dominic's point of view, which is that who is deceiving who? you know, uh, we speaking Yoruba in English, you can't pull the wool over our eyes, you know, kind of a thing. So, you see, there's a problem. Yeah, there, there will always be a problem, you know, and that is what keeps humanity going because is you always attempt, you know, some of those problems, <laughs> you get it? Uh, the, if there are no issues, the tendency to think higher will not be there, all right? Now, we are not saying that the federal government should adopt the entire report, 
Okay. That is not what we are saying. Even if you had subjected but this find report, what you agree with that is the in issue. that report. That is the point we are making. We are not saying create a million states. It, it, because I, I, no, but again, can, can it be that the, the federal government, yeah. that this government, uh, this 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 leadership, Buhari, the, uh, Buhari, the yeah. Buhari administration, yeah. does not want to give any credit at all to the whole project? Yeah, it is because they see it as a project of an opposition party. That is otherwise, you cannot tell me that of the entire report that there is nothing reasonable that even possibly aligns with their own philosophy. Mm. TSA was not an APC project. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. That began in the general administration. Are you getting it? But they Even were, the so they got to implement it. Revolution in the uh, agri sector was not begun with uh, APC. Okay. It was Jonathan's regime, the actual uh, administrator, actually okay. you know, started okay. that project. Yeah. So, so it's an that, interesting argument there. Yes. So, 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 so no, why, why is it different is with yes. this? Is it because why, it's politics? Are you getting it? Why not pick those items that at the moment are okay. more critical to the current you know issues that we are trying to address okay i've got to go on another break so let me take mr george calling in from ikeja good morning mr george uh, good morning uncle yori thank you for calling in sir uh, uh, good morning to dr dan good morning sir uncle yori i don't know why the government or the federal government is tearing up this unnecessary controversy over this uh, confirmed report mm. because if you look at it the government is already inadvertently uh, implementing some of the recommendations of that report. Of course. For example, the TSA. Mm -hmm. The TSA is in that report because I have gone through the report. Even the school feeding program that the federal government has uh, started mm -hmm. is in that uh, uh, report as well. It just uh, coincided with the fact that APC also already has that in their own uh, uh, program. So what is true? The, the, the truth doesn't have favorites, doesn't have favorite people. Whoever speaks the truth, the truth remains the truth, irrespective of who is saying it. Hmm. If I were the federal government, I won't make this a controversial of topic course. anymore. Of you course. have already started picking what you think is implementable inside that report. Just okay. go ahead with that and forget about uh, you know, formalizing it, whether it should be sent to National Assembly or not. Hmm. What we, the populace, need is good governance from any anywhere but, but thank you but okay mr george are you yes, going there yes, but, but, but yes, this I'm whole this, this whole question of uh fiscal federalism true federalism that is yes. a, another thing that is being demanded by a lot of people mm -hmm. your thoughts on that yes that one is uh, you know i spoke on it before i spoke i spoke on it before that one has something to do with uh, uh structure and you know i said that structure is not our problem but those who are implementing the structure okay True federalism can be addressed with good governance. If you are the head of government and you spread projects and no area of the country is feeling cheated, mm -hmm. what is more federalism than that? Thank you very much, Mr. George. Okay, stay with us, please. We'll go on a quick break. Okay, welcome back. Interesting conversation going on here about, um, you know, the 2014 CONFAB and um, uh, Garba Shehu, presidential spokesman, saying that um, uh, it's not high up on, on the priority. In fact, he went as far as saying that it's not even going to be uh, used. Um, now, we, we, some of the things we've talked about here is that surely there must be one or two things in there that could be useful. But the other kind of uh, conversation plank is that, look, if the APC itself, the ruling party itself, were to follow its own constitution, and I'm talking here particularly as it refers to uh, federalism, if that alone were be seen to be being pursued vigorously, then a lot of these issues would disappear. Yeah, but that, for that, some that, that, reason, is, that is even the, 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 the most important thing that the government should address, this question of federalism. You don't just call a state a federation when it is not federating. No, it's not. This so-called Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yet the argument has been, okay, as a result of the various interregnum over military intervention and the rest of it, Nigeria needed to practice a presidential system that will have a strong, you know, leadership at the center in order to have some level of cohesiveness and the rest of it. Yes, that could be. We've gone past that era. We are now in an era uh, where people want to on their own, 
contribute yeah. and make take decisions of their own life, decide their destinies themselves. We, so we must go back to the idea of federalism, where every state will be a federated unit. Daniel in Abuja, good morning. Yeah, Uncle Yeri, how are you today? Uh, very well, sir. Thank you for calling in. Um, this is a very interesting topic. I just want to make a little input with what you guys are saying there. Sure. Yeah, good morning, Uncle Yeri. I just want to make a little input with what you guys are saying there. I am not for restructuring. We should restructure our minds. There is no way that our government will release over, over 1.6 trillion naira to state governors and up to now. Contractors, local contractors are not paid. All our loans. Uh, I, I, I'm so sorry, Daniel. Uh, the, 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 there was a lot of noise on, on your line. Uh, surely it must be a network affair. Uh, but we did hear the much that you did say that you are not, not for restructuring. restructuring. So contractors are not paid. The co contractors are not being paid. Who, who is owing them? Is it the state government or the federal government? <laughs> Why is it that all the are on federal? <laughs> that tells you that he needs restructuring. He needs to understand. It depends on the kind of restructuring he's talking about. The restructuring some of us are talking about is this idea of federalism yes yes now at the time you overload the center with activities you everything is from the center you begin to have this issue of co contractors not being paid as a matter of fact some of the states have not been able to pay salaries not because honorarily they will not have been able to pay but because the federal government has taken over their jobs has taken over their, even their means of income. And the federal and the government rest of it. cannot even do the, it efficiently. Should the federal, the, the federal government, government has far, the far federal too government much. is running uh, secondary schools, running all manner of projects in these various states. What is the responsibility of the governors, the, the states? It, so leave these duties to the states. Let the states pay tax to the center. Then the center can focus on those things that are truly federal in nature. Let the various states take care of themselves. And again, the issue of uh, local government autonomy is part of this issue. It is. You know, on the debate of devolution of power and the rest of it. You see, I do not think it will make any meaning, any sense, if we talk about devolution of powers and at the same time, the, the local governments are on their own. <laughs> the look, a state should have what it takes to create as many local governments as can for as long as it funds them. Maybe a situation where a local government will be sharing funds from the, the uh, federal uh, uh, posts, all right? And we do know that there are some states that have so many local government that don't even contribute, mm -hmm. and yet in sharing, so we are more or less running a communist state where you give to each according to his needs and you collect from each according to his ability. That is what is happening at the moment. Uh, I don't Chidi, think it's Chidi, Chidi well. in good morning. Good morning, Uncle Yori. It has been a while. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Good morning, Dr. Dan Keres. Thank you. God bless you, sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, I am delighted over what you people are discussing this morning concerning the uh, 2014 confab. As a matter of fact, I would urge the government of the day to look critically into the recommendations of that very conference. There are some ideal areas they will have to look into and maybe add some other areas or address some other areas. But to say that it is going to be totally discarded, I think must be unpatriotic. So the government should show a high level of patriotism by looking into the relevant areas as recommended by the 2014 conference. Mm. Thank you very much, and God bless Nigeria. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chidi, calling in there from Kafanchan. Now, I wonder what, uh, first of all, I, we recall that even when it was being put together, the, there were, if not objections outright, reservations. So much. Okay. So, 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 so very much. Yeah. Now, I, I wonder, now that willy-nilly the Jonathan administration forced it through, and there were willing participants. So many, I think, what, 400, 400? About 400 or something. Uh, 400 or something. And, you know, there, there was this unholy amount that they were getting on a daily basis. <laughs> that was an issue, too. <laughs> that was also an issue that it was a kind of a, a yes, bonanza. Yes. But for whatever, be, for whatever it is worth, as I said, we have stuff that even at the worst, this present administration might consider as a, a scrapbook of ideas. But, but, but that... Is it is it a is it a political ego kind of a thing? And that's exactly what's happening. You think so? Yes. Because uh, however, because if there are however, like like there. like a caller has already said, I told you that the TSA 
It's not an yes, you know, yes, but it was seen as a good idea, and so it was adopted. Are you getting it? This government just you know decided to you know launch into it and bring it you know on in that manner. Mm -hmm. But already the PDP started that project. Yes. Okay. But now, even the TSA is not without its critics. Even as we as we're course, talking, of course, of course, you will always find critics. Mm -hmm. And most of you know most of the time you find some of these uh, issues, you know, coming from persons who either have some pos political uh, positions or who we are skimmed out in a way all right so sometimes today you find some persons who are in government and will tell you that ah the east the southeast is not marginalized but when such people eventually are booted out of government they will be the ones raising the same issues <laughs> today those who are in power are telling you that we don't need federalism the moment they lose they will tell you how reasonable federalism is. But I don't look think at anybody dare say we don't they, need federalism. No, you, you will hear so many of them say such things. That at the moment, the present system we are running, the way it is considered, is the best. But clearly the federal, but, the, the federal but government are, is, yes. is not able to cope. With, it, it cannot. With, with what is on its plate it as a result of this. It certainly cannot. Oh, yeah, it certainly exactly. cannot. Okay. And again, um, the centre is too busy. Let me call, uh, let me get uh, Mr. Emmanuel's perspective in uh, Kumasi, Ghana. Good morning, Emmanuel. Yeah, good morning, Uncle Yaren. Good morning, sir. And a good morning, your guest. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Yeah, you people are right. Mm -hmm. the, what I want to say about the... Um, for uh, 2014 confirm. You know, this APC, they shouldn't say because it's from the opposition party that they will not speak some of the same things on that issue. Let me remind the APC, it is, they have ruled now two years and then. He left her only a year and then. Even Kurawe Aposhun telling them what they should do and what they should not do. They are not even care for the masses because of Kuyore. Look at how people are dying. Look at at the age of 67 years, President is still traveling abroad. Our, wait, wait a minute. What, what, do you mean, what, uh, what do you mean, look at how people are dying? I don't understand. Yes. People are dying because the health men are killing people. And the people that are with the blanket are now terrorists. But the people that are with AK-47 killing people, okay. they are now criminals. Okay, this is about IPOB, right? IPOB and uh, okay, uh, Mr. Mr. <laughs> uh, Mr. <laughs> has gone. You know that's a different that's conversation. Yeah. Of course, we can have it, um, but um, I think you were just sort of going to go into yeah. the whole I yeah. IPOB. Yeah. But it's not as if there aren't it's, concerns it's not, there. It's not out of point. It, yeah, it's, it's not, not out of point there. because <laughs> if you had <laughs> decided to operate what should have been operated, then the federalism perhaps, issue. Exactly. There is no reason why all of that would happen, and in any case, truly. The challenges of headsmen, we've not really addressed them the way they should. It's just that when some of these things happen in places where some people can reach out to the media, you hear so much of it. Like, I, you're, you need to know, for several years, headsmen have been sacking my community, sending them out of their farms. Sometimes, a whole year at a stretch, they don't go too far. And, it, and, and that doesn't and seem to be addressed at all at, all, at, at the, the moment. At all. At all. It uh, Mr. Mr. Samson in uh, Wari, good morning. Yeah, good morning, sir. Thank you, Dr. Thank you for calling in. Thank you for calling in. Go good ahead. Morning, um, Dr. Doctor Kere. Do, thank you. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Yes. Sorry. Um, sir, if you could check the 2014 comfort. Good. Excellent. Then we have to like, look inward now. Mm -hmm. You see, it was our past uh, president that made everything worse. Because even sometimes, you know, we have to check the kind of leadership you have in this country, quality of a good leadership, you understand entirely. Has it been the white, or even the president, or even the better? Because the letter was so soft. Because if you see all these things now, it's not this president administration, it can't force anything on any other person. But it's only on your platform and every other uh, media platform. They will tell you, baby, it's free. Stop blocking our roads. Sir, come down to worry. You will see it today, police are still blocking federal roads. Collect uh, bribe or give them money that they take. If you have a they will back you. I said, we are not from Nigeria. A lot of things are happening. 
You will go to a police station, you went to go and report, you say, you are living there, you are still paying the same thing. It just happened yesterday. They will tell you, you forget about that is uh, Abuja and Lagos, not here in Delta. So, a lot of things are happening. That very comfort, people looking what? People are hungry, people are hungry. So, that is the only way we can do it. Good morning, sir. Thank you very much uh, for calling in. Um, uh, let, let, me, let me take a break so I don't have to interrupt you. Yes, Stay sir. with us, please. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The 2014 Comfort been uh, focus, but um, really it's all about federalism because there is the theory that if you have been pursuing federalism, you know, as vigorously as the uh, APC manifesto or, or constitution would suggest, uh, perhaps the, the voices would not be as strident uh, as they are. Now, the whole matter of federalism itself, it, it's, it's not a simple affair. In fact, it's quite complex, and not everybody is on board. There are those who are indeed uh, apprehensive, let me say, if not afraid, about the whole concept of federalism. You spoke about um, some almost sort of a socialist system here, where everybody as you can, and yeah, everybody is now dispersed according the to their needs. Yeah. So, uh, the, 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 the caller from, you know, uh, from, from, uh, uh, from worry, you know, he's spoken about police. That's even part of the issue. It's, of it's, it's a complex. It's a complex. Indeed, matter. the federal, uh, you know, federalism as it is is a complex issue because it will lead to issues of state police exactly. and what have you. Exactly. And one that will equally promote, you know, effective security. Effective security because policy will be more effective because one, the states are going to recruit and employ their own security. Then the federal will still maintain his own, mm -hmm. and chances are that those they are going to bring up are people who are from the neighborhood, who equally know themselves, exactly. who you know, know your, the, the flashpoints mm. and the rest of it. Mm. All right, it will equally reduce the pressure on the federal government. All right, now not only that, it's going to create jobs because people will be employed. So what? Then beyond that, so beyond really, that, really, what these is issues there? of you know maintenance of infrastructure. Mm -hmm. There will be nothing like a federal road and a state road. Because the roads in Lagos State, for instance, we don't wait for Garibashewu to come and pass through them before we pass through. The roads are for everybody. So we cannot continue to wait for somebody in Abuja before a road in Lagos is fixed. For as long as the road is in Lagos, Lagos State government should be able to take care of it. Now, how, how would you, because um, we don't have all the time we'd like to have, uh, those that are apprehensive uh, about federalism, thinking that, hang on, if, 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 if this goes ahead full blast, um, it might adjust the balance. Yeah, well, that, well the precarious I, 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 I balance do know, that I do know that, uh, yeah, so far, I mean, it's, so far. It's, it's not really not, spoken of in these, in these kind of terms, but it is there. Yes, but my, from what I've observed, they not seem not to be too disposed to it. My observation. Because I've not heard much from there. Simply because those who have the voice there have been the ones in government. And so for their selfish interests, they will not want to embrace it. You see, but the truth is that it will profit the common man in the North more than what it is today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. In spite of the various years so many of them have, you know, they have spent at the presidency, the, the common man has not benefited. You can talk of a few multi-millionaires or billionaires, but you still have these issues of very poor people over there. All right? Now, the moment you run your own state the way you want it run, there is a tendency that you are going to be more welfaristic. You are going to take care of the people. And the issue of calling people to account for whatever they are doing will be closer to the people. Indeed. Yes, because, because as we because speak, the, it is difficult for people from the various units hmm. to call on the federal government. That's right. All right? But they can easily assess their governors. They can easily assess, you know, whoever is representing them is at the, that level. It's an argument. You can easily, it's, because it's you know that the, the resources, over. as we speak, the states will be complaining that the resources have not come from Abuja. It's Abuja that does it, Abuja that does that. But the moment we know that we are federating truly, mm -hmm. and we know you are the ones collecting all the resources, mm -hmm. we will be able to hold you accountable okay. for uh, how you have used those Mazio resources. Mazio Korafo, thank you for holding on. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Dr. Kere. Good morning, I'm sir. I'm going to find out from Dr. Kere. Thank you. 
billions invested there, Dr. Kerry. Is there any way the federal government can recruit this money back from those delegates? <laughs> I'm asking this question because if you take the percentage level of poverty illiteracy currently in Nigeria, you see that that money they spend there would have kept at least absorbed the problem currently. And even as people are saying, but if they knew it, also convert this uh, uh, convert into the constitution, it's better for us to I don't understand how we, Nigerians, we waste the resources. Mm. Now, look at, I don't know where you're coming from, I don't know where you're coming from. If you move from Arutuku to Uma, it's a problem because of bad roads. They are talking about federalism. Now, go around, Mr. Yuri, I will advise uh, just with a suggestion. Tell your staff to go to the University of Nigeria and Soka and go there to, after the program and find out how many hostels do we have for the boys. By, by the end of this month, the student will start going back. You see that it's, it's not up to only one hostel for over 30,000 boys of men in the University of Nigeria and Soka, which is the first among the first generation universities in this country. Now, if such money must have been based in that place, we will not have a problem. Now, not only the University of Nigeria, now go to Futu, I think I'm here in Within the eastern Nigeria, go to Futu over there. NDD to be hosted. How much are they collecting? 40 to 45,000 naira per better. And inside that room, you have, that's supposed to be one and two people inside the room, but they're having uh, three or four uh, double box inside there. Count the number of students in that place. You go to the University of, uh, University, University of Science and Technology for that course. Go there and find out. I'm talking about this because it is not good for us to waste resources. Because one, if we were to start this resources now, the incoming government, that's what I mean by incoming government, by 2019, we don't know who, what, whether they are going to bring that into a, a compact. But if they are to at least fix some things and implement it, it will help us. The waste of resources does not solve any problem. As, as you said now in Africa, now, you know, I don't know where you are coming from, from Lagos. You know that the road where you are coming from, there are some times maybe you try to take expressway, you know, to avoid all this. Uh, traffic jam in the place. Well, if we have all these flyovers, it will help us solve all these problems. Where are the money? And this money, we said, after the conference, is not a way. I pray that the federal government will have what a second thought and look into that uh, conference. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant day in Lagos. Indeed, sure. thank you very much, uh, Mazi Okora, for time winding down yeah, now. Yeah. Um, whereas the, this administration has not said anything uh, about that part of its constitution that we addresses federalism, uh, we can only imagine that it is not against it because it is a member of that particular party. Yeah, certainly but, it, it shouldn't, but uh, it has not exhibited, it has not shown enough will mm, to want to bring to pass mm, that idea, to want to bring it to action. But again, I, I equally, be, I, I don't want to lose this point. I want to equally find out why it is difficult for us to have. A, a, a unicameral legislature at the center. Uh, we have it. I, I'm not aware of any state in Nigeria that has a bicameral legislature. I'm not aware of any. So, are the states making reasonable laws? Will it be difficult for us to make good laws if we have just one house mm -hmm. of assembly? Yeah. Rather than this idea of uh, the house it, of reps. But then it wouldn't be a presidential system since they copied this one, do, lock, we, stock, and barrel. Must we copy wholesale, uh -huh. for how long are we going to remain copycats? You see, we should design, governance is always about the people. And every group of persons, you, 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 just like what uh, Motoescu said, there is no good governance except it's a government that aligns with the lifestyle of a people. For instance, some time ago, the Central Bank came up to say that we should not spray money because in America they don't spray dollars. Though we do see some of their musicians throw money like that. All right? But has it worked? You, I, I, learned, I saw in, uh, on television sometimes police were saying they arrested somebody somewhere at a party who was spring, as if even themselves they don't spring money when they go to parties. You see, you must design governance in line with the, the temperament, in line with the environment, in line with the culture of a people. So you bring all those things to bear. You don't just copy system. You copy what is good. You apply it. You don't remove totally everything about you and bring the foreign. You look at the foreign elements. See the one that can fit into your system to make you better. So this idea of presidential system, even when it is killing you that you must practice it, whereas you don't have the temperament of those you copied it from, it's not working for us. Indeed. Well, we're going to have to leave it here. And, uh, why Mr. Garbashe, who decided to 
you know, stir he, this he, particular he hornet's that, nest. He must show to his master that he's doing his job. So don't forget <laughs> that he's employed <laughs> by somebody. So <laughs> that is why you don't blame these people too much because somebody's paying their bills. Yeah, right? And, uh, you know, somebody mm -hmm. has complained about yes. it saying that, look, you know, uh, I think it was Dr. Idris uh, uh, Mohammed, okay. uh, medical doctor, mm -hmm. member of the House of Representatives in it's the Second okay. Republic, who had said that um, he wasn't going to engage Mr. Shehu in any kind of a conversation. But it, that, it wasn't necessary. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're uh, only looking for ways and manners how to run Nigeria more prosperously. Indeed. Not about those debates. Yeah, let, let's leave it there. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dr. Daniel Kere, uh, lecturer in philosophy me. from the University of Lagos, and um, you know appreciate your perspectives. Thank you. So Thank you. that's our program today. Please join us tomorrow for a fresh edition. I'm Yori Folarin. Bye-bye for now.